if I do. There we go. Easy. The madman, he's done it yet again. Exactly 100 experience. Love it. We are very close to another level up. Big fan. Big fan. All right. Up this way we go. Bow, ba bam, bow. Hi, Voltorb. No, Voltorb, please. We're good. Voltorb. Is that a Monferno or an Inferno? Surely it's a Monferno. Inferno, if I think, is a boss later. Hey, Monferno, get over here. I want you. Pretty sure we haven't run into one of you yet. I don't think I've run into Chimchar either. That's because Chimchar is going to be the fire partner. I'm pretty sure uh, Piplup, Turtwig, and Chimchar are the, uh, the partners of those three elements since they're the starters. This thing is a little bit of a pain. Just a tiny bit. Stop! Just let me catch you. I'm so close! He's done it. Ba -na 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 -na. Yo, he's registered as number 169. Can I get some nices in chat? Bam, bam. Don't have to deal with the spinner rack. I don't know if I need this Monferno. I might need it for like the Giga Remo or something. It appears to be electrically locked. Oh no. I need a level one Electrify, which I don't have. Can the Voltorb do Electrify? Blue Haru, hello, welcome to stream. Voltorb, are you an Electrify mon? I do not remember. I would assume that you're an Explodey mon, but I don't think that's a field move. Oh, I thought you'd explode. I could have kept doing the loops there. Catch the Voltorb and just chuck it at the door? Genius. Oh, you are Electrify. You're level two even. Perfect. So close to this level up. I want it. I want it bad. Bam, ba bam, bam. Explodemon, is that a new Digimon? There we go. Zap this bad boy. Love how he just shoots a giant yellow lightning bolt. Thanks, Voltorb. See you later. Stupid nerd. Ah, oh, this is just cruel. Making them do all the work by running on the wheels. Save up. Don't mind if I do. I think Barlow is in this room right here, isn't he? We have to go catch a Pokemon that can cut him free, though. Oh, no, he's not in this room. Never mind. Or maybe he is in this room beyond. You stealthy scoundrel, you! Oh, there's the Perugly. I won't allow you to abscond with the Pokemon we rounded up. You say that like you have a choice. That's a Mareep. That's another Mareep. That's a third Mareep. This guy's got three Mareeps. Not a single one of them will last. There we go. bad not bad just don't let him start recovering any easy triple catch let's go i love the, i love how when you catch multiple at once it sounds like popcorn going off it's like pop 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 big fan bam 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 his plan is to make you fall asleep by counting the marie ha <laughs> it failed although i am feeling a little tired i don't know why all of a sudden i normally don't feel tired in the middle of streams but just i just suddenly got hit by this like lethargy that is fine I'm not, like, super tired. I'm just a little bit like, you know, I could lay down if I wanted to, but obviously I'm not going to. I'm going to keep streaming. Oh, now you've gone and done it. I'm in for a dressing down from Captain. All right, give me this Perugly. I think you do a Shockwave? Yeah. Aw, oh, dang it. There goes my one-line dreams. That's a little too close to the edge, yeah. There we go, that is a bulky cat. Currently watching your Digimon World Next Order playthrough after watching, or after catching up with World DS. I remember you leaving a comment on my most recent, I assume you're the same person, 
left a comment saying that you uh, caught up on Digimon World DS and you were going to watch my other playthroughs. Assuming that's you. When will new episodes of that release? I actually just recorded them this morning. I haven't, and I explain it in the next video that gets uploaded, but I haven't been able to record any because of my classwork. But since I just finished my two classes, I plan to record a lot of it this coming week and finish the game and get the rest of it uploaded. You same dude? I thought so. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the current playthroughs and past ones. But uh, new videos of that will probably be going up tomorrow because I'll be able to render them out tonight, I think. So that'll, yeah, that should be tomorrow, assuming I can get them rendered. And then I'll upload them pretty consistently through the rest of the week, hopefully. Because there aren't too many more to go, and that playthrough will be done. I think I only have to record another, like, three or four hours. Oh, I need this Raticate to free Barlow. Because he's going to be wrapped up a smidgen on the tight side, as we all know. I may as well use Machoke here, because he's who I'm going to get rid of to take this thing. Power is greatly boosted. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's more than double. Love it. You need both of the Raticate? I will catch the other Raticate then. I guess I'll have to get rid of Ralts for that one. Come here. I adore them. Don't usually watch Let's Plays, but here I am watching 100 plus in episodes in a few weeks. Hey, man. I'm glad that they've, uh... But they've caught your fancy. Go, 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 go. All right, psychic, uh, psychic power is pretty good. Blue Haru, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream in future ones you come to. Digimon has a way of capturing even, even people who don't like Let's Plays. It's like it's Digimon, man. Can't resist. Is that good of a series? Just don't watch my Digimon World Four playthrough. Watch literally every other one. Maybe, uh, depending on how much you like Digimon World 3, you might not want to watch that one either. But Definitely, like, both Cyber Sleuths, Next Order, Digimon World Dust Playthrough, the DS one I'm doing, I'd recommend all of those. Why? Why what? Why don't watch Digimon World 4 playthrough? Because I, uh, uh, I realized how bad of a game it was, and I quit, like, right at the end because I got fed up with it. I accidentally pressed A twice. Hey, who's there? Some knucklehead of a dim sun? Or would that be a team dim sun goon? It's too dark to tell you creeps apart, is me? your friend. Ah, oh, Digimon World 3. Yeah, a lot of people who had a lot of nostalgia and really loved Digimon World 3 were not happy that I didn't have a lot of fun with the end of it. I did finish Digimon World 3, and it was an okay game, but as I got deeper into it, I was like, man, there's so much backtracking and random battles, and it's not the best. It was still all right. Chaos, when will you finish Digimon World 4? Don't make me time you out. I can't time you out. You're subbed. That would be counterproductive to my, my wallet. Plan to watch Dust, both Cyber Sleuths, and Hacker's Memory and G+, whenever you get around to that. So you have quite the backlog. Yeah, you got plenty to watch. I'll probably, uh, as soon as I finish Digimon World DS, probably in the near future, I'll start that Hacker's Memory and G+. I would expect it, if not at the end of this month, then definitely sometime next month I'll be doing that Hacker's Memory and G+, without a doubt. What? Well, you. Solo. What are you doing here? Yeah, what's up? I'm, I'm a part of Team Dim Sum. I betrayed you. All right, you're my rescuer. Excellent. First things first, it's too dark to see. You gotta do something about that. After all, you can't clear a target if you can't see. I disagree, but sure. There should be an Electabuzz on board somewhere. Electabuzz's flash can light up this hold. It should be easy for you. All right, so I gotta go free the Electabuzz and Magmar first. I forgot. Even caught people like me who don't really know a lot about Digimon. Sick. Got another one, boys. That's what I'll do for my 10k sub special. I'll go back and finish Digimon World 4, even though, like, the majority of my viewers would not care. Wire fence was cut up. Sick. I really, really need to uh, figure out what I'm going to do for 10k subs on YouTube. These guys could have stopped running at any point. Like, why were you bothering to run just because the fence was there? Why was the fence being gone even matter in this scenario? Come here, like the buzz. I need you. I don't need the Magmar. Giyomon Orange is my favorite Digimon. Specifically the orange one. What is this? Alright, yeah. AoE move. Got it. It's a very wide AOE move. Probably can't make uh probably can't make loops while it's going. Could have kept looping during that. No no no, get caught. Aw oh, dang it. I tried to get him just before he did it. I needed three more loops. I don't know much about Digimon, but I love watching you because you do know Digimon. One of the few things that I will 
I will be glad to say without hesitation. I know a lot about Digimon. I played a lot of the games. I watched the majority of the anime. And I've read some stuff about it too. Like I've read Ricky, uh, Ricky's. And I've, I've read wikis and stuff of like info about Digimon. Just started Hacker's Memory yesterday. I'm enjoying it so far, but the protagonist's eyes are a little off. I actually got used to his eyes after a while, but they are definitely weird at first. How do I use your ability? Do I have to talk to Barlow? That was an Electabuzz cry, right? Good going. Can Electabuzz's help to light up the stingy cargo hold? All right, now I can. Yeah. Do it. My favorite is Cannondramon because it's a dinosaur with artillery on its back. Cannondramon is really cool. You just need to start playing Digimon Mobile Games and finish Digimon World 4? Absolutely not. Bam, bam. Doramon is your favorite? Good pick. Doramon is amazing. Ow, that's bright. Beats the darkness, though. Being in the dark brings me down. Yeah, nightlight, buddy. I wish you never saw me this way, though. Being roped up a smidgen tightly. Ollie put up with it without a peep. Tough guy. I'd like to get free and get moving. If anyone can snap this rope, I'd say it's Big Bertha and no one else. Looks like we'll need a Pokemon to help us with this, too. Yeah, I got it. I got Eradicate right here, my dude. I hope it doesn't accidentally, like, bite off your face, but, you know, that's not my problem. Get it. In fact, it was Chaos that got me to watch some of the anime. Dude, sick. Digimon anime is pretty good. It's not, like, the best anime ever made, but it's it's not bad. Thanks. Even in my wildest dreams, I never thought you'd be rescuing me. Here you go. If you stream yourself finishing Digimon World 4, I will sub it Tier 3. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Maybe one day. Or two, depending on your funds. Ah, I see you already trying to back out. I see you, Soundsmith. Hey, this is my styler. Burns me to think I had the Ranger symbol taken from me. It tells me I need to be better. First things first, switch on the styler. There we go. A lot of people watch Chaos because of Digimon. Yeah, it's where like at least 70% of my audience comes from finding me through Digimon, I'd say. There's a lot of new mail in the inbox. People are trying to get in touch with me. Huh? An incoming message already. Yeah, I'd imagine. They just saw it come back on. Voicemail, voicemail. Crawford calling from the Ranger Union. Your styler started transmitting again. Solo must have joined you. Why are you at the Ranger Union? Both your location signals are coming in clearly. If there's any problem, inform us by voicemail, please. Leader, I'm glad you're safe. Yeah, we're in the middle of the ocean. I've caused everyone a lot of worry with all this. My Makuhita suffered because of me, too. I'm sorry, dude. Dude. Maku. Your Makuhita was bound up with you the entire time? They've done it now. Team Din Sun's not getting away with this. I'd say it's about time for Mr. Barlow's counterattack to begin. We'll have to wrest control of the ship first. We'll go to the ship's bridge and take command. Let's friggin' get it, my dude. The door won't open. It appears to be locked. That calls for a target clear. Hey, Solo. Slide out of the way, will you? I love this. I love it so much. Barlow's uh, ranger pose is one of the best. Target clear! Boom. Found me through Xenoblade X. That's another one that some people get. It's mostly like Digimon, one of the Xenoblade games, or uh, then like the last like 10% of people that find me are just anything else like Sly Cooper or... Tales of or something. What is this room? Hey, Solo, come over here. Barlow's target clear is amazing. Case got me to buy a PS4 just to play Digimon thanks to my play all the games. Dude, sick. PS4 is the best system. Has the best, uh, the best. Oh, geez, I wonder who the villain could be. Uh, has the best exclusives. This looks like the captain's quarters. It's gotta be the captain we're after. What is this sweet smell? I think there was an extra hold kind of hairspray that smelled like this. Why do you know that? There are cosmetic products for men. There is a faintly familiar fragrance. There are many identical outfits. They seem somehow familiar. Oh, really? It's someone's diary. X month, XX day. We had a close call today. Ranger named Barlow came close to disrupting our plan. It should be a good lesson to us. We must be more cautious. Why do you keep a diary, dude? Several books lined up. How to earn your boss's praise. Surefire way to promotions and preventing running in hallways. Look at these nice little slippers there. Would you consider playing Fire Emblem Three Houses? I am playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. I already finished my Black Eagles route, but I'm not doing it on YouTube or Twitch because uh, I don't think it'd be a very good thing for me to commentate after how Awakening went. The Big Ranger's broken out! Help someone, I need backup! He's so large and in charge. This is it for you. There's no way out now. I doubt that. Bring it on, punks. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> they spotted us. We'll have to take the challenge. I'll take this side, you take that one. I can take both, to be honest. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of fire boys. 
Three Macargo or nothing. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not doing three houses, but... After I quit Awakening so deep in and a lot of people got mad at me, or, uh... Well, not a lot of people, but some people were like, Dude, you suck at Fire Emblem Awakening. Why are you playing it? I was just like, you know what? I'm just not gonna upload this. I, I want to play three houses. I want to try it out, but I'm just not gonna upload it. Why does he need a partner Pokemon? He can just charge him down. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I'll go get help. You hold them back. How is he going to hold us back? Don't leave me alone with them. I'll go get help. You stay here. Yeah, you see Barlow's muscles? This man can snap your neck. This is what we'll do. We'll both go get help. That's a brilliant idea. Let's put it into action. Stupid idiots. No amount of help will save you. Oh, we're at the end already. I thought we still had a little bit more to go. Well, this isn't the end. We have to run back here in a second to get to the Kingston Valve, but this is where the boss is. The bridge is above here. No telling what this captain of theirs will spring on us. You ready? Let's go. All right, let's move. Whoever could have guessed. Well, what a surprising guest we have. If it isn't Solo. You haven't been running in the ship's hallways, have you? We haven't met since your graduation, have we? Perhaps you don't even recall who I am. I was, after all, only teaching the class next to yours. But I only played at being Mr. Kinsad, the teacher. My true identity is... Team Dim Sun's Guiding Lights, Mr. Kinsad. It is still the exact same name. I don't really know what you meant by a different identity. But uh, also, like, why were you wearing the teaching outfit if you were just going to switch into the evil outfit anyway? Like, I don't understand. You've certainly come a long way to be confronting me. I wouldn't have imagined it from an unruly child like you. Not from one who ran in hallways and snuck around where you didn't belong. Hey, I passed with flying colors, dude. But your journey ends here. <laughs> oh dear, that's a lot of people. Chaos, sometimes your pronunciation. You should not be watching me if you can't take pronunciations. Kinsad, you knew we were coming. You thought we wouldn't notice? Minions, take care of them. What, like from the movie? That's horrible. Don't bring those things into this game. Aye, aye, sir. Only two of you have a mini Remo. Dude, two Rhydon is nothing. I almost said Rhydon. Two Rhydon would be nothing, but Rhyhorn especially. This is easy. What are you doing? All right, yeah, fair. Go ahead. I'll wait. Holy cow, look at me go. Got him. That was easy. Give me that EXP. Group capture. Love it. Oh, no, I'm about to sneeze. Please, no. Don't do it. All right, it passed, I think. Maybe. It might come back. We're sorry, Captain. We're too ashamed to face your anger, so we'll swim home. What if you, like, get eaten by water-type Pokemon, though? You stupid idiots. Very well. Let those incompetents go. Their absence will lighten the ship's load and reduce its fuel consumption. Will it really? I must admit you two are better than I'd expected. Perhaps you did glean something useful from the ranger school. Oh, hey, there are more of them. But to everything, there is always a limit. Not to me. How many of these clowns are there? It's like there's an unlimited supply. I'll go after Kinsad. You deal with the small fry, Solo. Yeah, you should definitely be the one dealing with the small fries, but whatever. I accidentally pressed A. I think he said get them or something. You're gonna get it, hair hairspray head. Yeah, you tell him, Barlow. What an insult. It literally three stunky. That's the best you can do. Oh, no, it's Drapion. Ha! A mere area ranger is going to defeat this Drapion? I'm not gonna defeat it. I'm gonna befriend it. I watched enough anime to know how friendship power works. All right, these stunky are gonna be easy. Let's go. Whoops. 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 All right, you know what? Forget the triple capture. Stop that. Double capture will be good enough. Aw, oh, dang it. Bad by me. There we go. Now we're set. All right, easy. Can set remind you of Craw uh, Crowler from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX? I can see it. They're both blonde, at least. Strict teachers, I guess. Except Crowler is like 
he starts as an antagonist, but he becomes a good guy. We're sorry, captains. We're too ashamed to face your anger, so we'll swim home. Yeah, get lost, nerds. It's nice how they all do it one by one. Like, they coordinate that pretty well. Ah! Barlow, no! You deserve kudos for your bravado, but clearly, you lack the ability. I'm useless. My styler's broken. Ha 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 ha! So, where is your pumped up bravado now? This is the power of our new Mini Remo. The Mini Remo is nothing like the crude and internally he infernally heavy Giga Remo. Not only is it compact and portable, but it has over a hundred commands. Solo, you may be interested to know who developed the Mini Remo. It was a youth, a boy really, about your age. That boy was and is a genius of the sort that comes along once a century, if that's... Oh, I wonder who it could be. Probably like Isaac. To recruit that genius, I'd taken a position at the ranger school. Does that surprise you? You use the ranger school for that? How low can you go? Wahaha! <laughs> Say what you will. Now let us begin your final lesson. Go, Drapion. Show them no mercy. I'm going to destroy you. Banew. Another thing they do in Guardian Signs? Uh, never mind. Drapion, let's go. Alright, so people in chat were saying that this uh, Drapion was very annoying for them. I don't remember it being a major challenge, but I guess we're going to find out. I like the little cut-in image they had for this boss, by the way. It's very nice. I thought that that was something that only happened in Guardian Signs because it didn't happen with the earlier bosses, but I guess it's only specific bosses to get this. That was really dumb of me. I just started started doing it too early for no reason, which was dumb. What else is new? Stop that. Stop it. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Those puddles are so insanely small. Are you shooting again? Yeah, all right. Second shot, that's fine. How long do these puddles stick around? Are they like for the rest of the battle kind of deal? Hopefully not. I had to readjust my hold on my stylus. Get caught, you fool. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is happening here? All right. A little dangerous, but not a big deal. That was really dumb of me. There we go. Just trying to make sure that he doesn't uh, start recovering any. There we go. There we go. Just let me capture you. I can't. I can't get it. There we go. Nice. Please, Drapion. I'm so close. My dude. Okay, Drapion was not a problem at all. Oh my goodness, my right arm. Whoo, that hurts. That hurts. I gotta, like... I gotta, like stretch my arm. Oh my goodness, someone raided. I have got to get that raid. I gotta get that raid, uh, whatchamacallit, fixed. Holy cow. I have got to get that set up. Preferably before stream tomorrow, but I might not be able to do it until after. Thank you so much for raiding, Gentle Beast. This is much appreciated. I'm sorry I don't have a, a raid notification come up on screen. I don't have one set up and I need to get that fixed. Thank you so much for, uh, for raiding. Glad to have you. How, how did your stream go? What were you streaming, my dude? Give me the rundown. Ninja Bunny, hello. Said so you had schoolwork. What are you studying? I'm uh, I'm taking classes to learn programming. I'm getting a software development certificate as I'm doing it, so I'm learning Java mainly. Ethan, hello. Ye that ha. Wonderful. How do I pronounce this? Ratatosk? Probably Ratatosk. Sorry if I butchered your name, but welcome as well. Glad to have you. Gah! I seem to have underestimated you, Solo. Yeah, so does everyone. To all crew members, this is your captain speaking. This is an emergency. The crew chief on sea deck is ordered to pull out the Kingston valve. All other crew members are to abandon ship on their own initiative. Abandon ship and swim! I had a Gliscor in the back the whole time. Rangers, do you understand the significance of the Kingstone valve? Its removal will flood the ship, taking all evidence of our plan to a watery grave. This will be your final resting place. And for the Pokemon on board, too. Oh, dear. Said perfectly, he's done it. That doesn't happen often. But you guys just, like, sent that thing flying. Holy cow. Ba 
Bow, bow, bow. All right, see you, Gentle Beast. Thanks for dropping in for the raid, my dude. Also, thank you, Ninja Bunny, for giving my name, apparently. Much appreciated. Bon voyage, Pokemon Rangers! That Gliscor just, like, ate him up. Oh, hey! That's not fair. Captain gets to fly. Captain's always been that way with us. We have no choice but to jump in and swim. What, why did you idiots run into each other first? Would you give each other a final goodbye kiss as you fall into the ocean and die? What the heck was that? That sneak's really done it now. Solo, we're going to save the ship. Pokemon and all. I've never handled a ship this size before, but we're out of options. What could possibly go wrong, dude? I didn't know Gliscor could learn fly. Can Gliscor learn fly? I thought it only got bounce. I don't think it can learn fly. This is bad, though. The closest port is Puel Town, and I don't think we can stay afloat long enough. You can tell we're already starting to take on water, right? My styler's out of commission. We'll use the ship's radio to sound the alarm. Yeah, Gliscor just glides, exactly. Crawford, come in. This is Barlow. Do you read me? We've taken command of Team Dim Sun's cargo ship, but the ship is sinking. I'm not sure if the ship will make it to Puel Town. In other words, this radio message could be my final words. Ha ha ha, laughter. This is Crawford. That's not like you, Barlow. And as a joke, it's the worst. You've got to reach shallow waters and beach the ship. If you can't do that in time, abandon the ship and save yourselves. Oh dear. That's if there are any shallows. I'm going to end this transmission. My last words were only a joke. You just watch. We'll save all the Pokemon on board. You don't seriously think we're going to leave the Pokemon and save ourselves. This is Barlow. Over and out. If we could somehow slow the sinking long enough to find a place to beach. I'm on it. I'm going to go get that valve. What's the deal, Makuhita? I'm trying to get a move on here. Solo, where are you going? To put the Kingstone Valve back in? I get it. If we can get a Pokemon to help, that might work. It might be futile, but it sure be... Futile? Why'd I say futile? 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 I think both pronunciations work. But it sure beats watching my sorry efforts to sail this ship. But the way this ship's taken on water, your time limit's about four minutes. Solo, hurry. Run through the hallways. Oh, d I've been waiting to hear these words all my life. It's time to run through some hallways, boys. What happens if you go down this right path? Does this, like, lead to the same place? Oh, okay, well. Can't do that. I also love Drapion. I probably had a lot more trouble with that Drapion boss when I was younger, too. I really like Drapion. He's a really cool mon. Out of the way! The ship's going down! You're running through the halls, sad face. I'm a rebel. I do what I want. No one can stop me from running through the halls. Excuse me, I'm just going to save really quickly. Oh, it says undergoing adjustments. Oh, of course. What a perfect time to update the save mechanics. Well done, Ranger Union, who I assume is in control of that. Run, Pokemans, run! Remember the first game in this series to get really hard halfway through? Yeah, the first game in the series was a lot harder because the gameplay wasn't as optimized. Like, when you capture Pokemon in this game, they have a health bar that you have to work through, and you don't have to do it all in one loop. Although you get bonus experience if you do. In uh, in the first Pokemon Ranger game, like, instead of a health bar, they just had a number, and you had to make the same amount of loops as the number was in one go. And if you didn't do it in one go, then you had to start over. It was very annoying. The game was still pretty fun, but it was not nearly as fun as this and Guardian Signs, which is the sequel to this, are. Oh yeah, Steelix is a nightmare for most people who played the first game. Yeah, Steelix was absolutely terrible. He was about halfway or more like three-fourths through the game, I think, and he was the absolute worst to try and capture. It was a nightmare. I don't need a Machoke. I have a Perugly. Look at all this water. All right, Perugly, do it. You're the strongest Pokemon on board. On board? On board. Channel the power of Big Bertha. Drapion does have a really great design. This typing is pretty nice, too. Kingston Valve was moved by an enormous amount of power. Thanks, Perugly. See you later. Metagross in the first game that was difficult to catch? I don't remember catching Metagross in the first game. But the legendary dogs and Rayquaza were really annoying to capture in the first game. Huh? 
Yes, it's working! The ship's not taking on water like before. Solo really did it. Now there's more time to find somewhere to beach this thing. Shoals, come on, where are they? I've got a ship to run aground. Maku, Maku! Makihita doesn't even look like he's looking out the window. He looks like he's staring in the corner, like he's in timeout. There! A small island at 3 o'clock. There's even a pier! Way to spot that, Makuhita. That pier's just a tiny spit of wood, but that's where this ship's landing! We have to crank it to the right! Hold on, Pokémon! The ship's gonna kill over hard. Rudder's hard to starboard! Oh dear. The Voltorb just rolls into the wall. I actually really love this moment. Do you know why this place is called Ascension Square? This is actually probably one of the best moments in this game, like in Pokemon Ranger games, period, I'd say. Of course I do. It's because students share their dreams here, then set off into the great big world. That's exactly right. And when we've grown up in the world, it's Principal Lamont's hope that we return. Oh dear. Well, no one's going to be returning here for a little while. You're free, Pokemon! Run! Escape! What's going on here? What is that giant ship doing here? I have to hand it to you, Barlow. That was an incredible display of split-second decision-making. Hey, guys, what's up? Solo, thank goodness you're safe. The pier seems to have been inadequate for the role. What exactly is taking place? This cargo ship was used by Team Dim Sun. They were using it to abduct Pokemon and transport their Gigaremo machines. Barlow and Solo discovered what the ship was used for. However, when defeated, Team Dim, uh, words, Team Dim Sun abandoned the ship. But they also tried to scuttle the ship with the Pokemon still on board. To save the Pokemon, Barlow and Solo had to run the ship aground. I'm sorry to say that the ship ran over your pier. On the bright side, all the Pokemon have been saved. That's wonderful. I'm happy to see they were successful at ramming the pier. The pier is of no concern. We got to witness the outstanding courage and, de and decisiveness of two graduates. It's another example of model behavior that we can present to our students. Incidentally, where is Barlow? He can't be. That was a rough crash. Stop that! Our leader isn't that fragile. Solo! Mission clear! I love that so much. That's one of my favorite moments in this game. Like, easily top three moments in this game. Ramming the ship into the pier at the school and then being like, where's Barlow? And then he's up on top of the ship and he does his pose. Like, mission clear, we've done it. Oh man, I love it. See? As the leader, I'd like to say a few words to end this send-off party. I always knew this day was coming. You're not the sort of you're not the sort to start and finish as a ranger in the sticks like this. When I handed you your styler, I already had that feeling. But I never expected this day to arrive so soon. 